He's one of my best friends, Albert Kirshner. hearing about so saucy and so fresh oh my gosh that's so nice that was a, such a nice thing this that's the only reason i show up here really is that i have a bad uh, chubby person in my brain who always tells me i'm not great and then i show up to this so that zach will tell me i am great and then i've got a good like half month now in me to go get some stuff done huh isn't it nice to have someone tell you why you're not terrible <laughs> You can do it, but that's just vapid. That means nothing. But like, someone else does it, someone reflects why you're good at you, that feels, oh, holy crap, that's nice. I don't know why I'm good. I just continue to exist because I'm supposed to. <laughs> I've been struggling with that the last few months. I don't know who the hell I am. I know I'm an Albert. I know I'm hairy. I know I'm getting chubbier. I know my hairline's receding. I know I like barbecue and video games, and that's it. That's, that's not a person. That's like a child and half of a person. <laughs> You wanna you wanna burn some ribs? I'll burn the hell out of some ribs with you. You wanna hide in the closet and fight teens online? Oh my gosh, you and I are buddies. What well, no, do I can't build a thing? I don't have philosophy I care about. I'm just trying to continue to be a child. You know why? Because adults are garbage, right? You two are so nice for coming. You're great. I really appreciate it. But this is Brooklyn, and we're teens forever, baby. Hell yeah. I don't. I'm just wary of adults. You know, I grew up in a small high school and I would, I graduated and I moved away and then all the stories of my teachers were just horrific. All the people that made me laugh, that made me, or tried to make me learn, but I ain't learning. <laughs> I'm done forever, baby. <laughs> they all turn out to be monsters with horrible lives. No, they're shaping youths. They're just dumb kids that grow up and then have power. That's nothing. I will never have power. I refuse to. <laughs> I will, eat, I will eat candy as a meal. I will eat chips whenever I want. I will do nothing productive on purpose. That is my philosophy and my stance. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm adopted, and I tried to make that like my thing, and that's nothing, really. That's, uh, I could have had a bad life, but I had a great one. There, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, it was really tough. I was raised by a doctor with money. Oh, damn. <laughs> Paid for me to go to college, but I was like, nah, I'm too cool for that. <laughs> I mean, I went, but I left on my time, you know? You go to college, they're like, we'll give you a piece of paper and tell you when you can leave. And you're like, no one tells me what to do. <laughs> I'll be dumb forever, thank you. <laughs> And I moved here and I found out that that was a bad decision. Whoa. Uh, Y'all like jobs and degrees. <laughs> Damn it, New York, you're breaking me. <laughs> this city's fun. It's fun. It's really fun. It's fun. You can afford to do anything. It's rad. It's rad. You can just walk through the streets of Brooklyn looking at garbage fly around. It's great. It's freaking rad. I live in a closet with no windows, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing fine. <laughs> this city's beautiful. It's beautiful. It smells not beautiful, but it's, it's like philosophically beautiful, you know? <laughs> Not one you can really, like, see or hear at all. It's just like, no, I think this is the right place to be. There's a lot of other people here. That must be mean something, right? You all made it. We can't all be dumb. <laughs> Maybe. I don't... Mm. <laughs> I don't try to figure out what to do next, right? You have uh, high school and then a uh, week attempt at college and then now you're supposed to be, like, an adult forging their way. You've got all these tools and you gotta get out there and really, really shape the world your own way. And I mostly want to hide. That's, is that, can I shape the world of like just carving a nook somewhere and staying in there? Nope. They want you to participate. Damn. Real damn about that. I'm trying to figure it out. All I know is that I'm horny all the time, but if I eat pastrami, that goes away. <laughs> So I'm just trying to do that a lot so I don't creep anyone out. <laughs> Sad. New York is super cool about pastrami. Y'all know that? <laughs> it's like, there's pastrami 10 feet away from us right now. <laughs> That's rad. <laughs> you put cheese on it. I'm not gonna tie. You know what to do with pastrami. You're not dumb. <laughs> Are your moms horny still? <laughs> My, mom, my mom's not horny. Like, sometimes they are, you know? They pump you out, and then they keep pumping people out, and you're like, how many of these kids are gonna be around? Uh, aren't I enough? And they're like, mm, nah. Um, 
my mom's my mom's done, and I think I did that, and I'm sorry. Uh, do you guys have parents who don't date, and do you remember their very last date? Isn't that surreal? Uh, do you remember their last date being interrupted by you stealing from a C CVS? That's super surreal. I grew up in a small town, so everyone in that store sees a kid walking in with socks, steal a glow stick, and leave. I'm like, don't worry, we got 10 minutes, so he puts his rollerblades back on. We'll get him. My, both of my parents don't have sex anymore, and they dealt with it real differently. Uh, my mom, she was inspired to like now build and craft and like really reshape our house, go to help people who need stuff, adopt dogs, and really like actively participate in the world in a beautiful and wonderful way. My dad, he's really cool. He wears sweatpants everywhere. <laughs> The same ones, it's rad. Like, you don't have to change when you're old? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, the, my favorite thing, which is he's really now, like, I guess I'll absorb a bunch of knowledge, but I'll do it my own weird way. He goes online, he finds an article about bugs, and then you know what you guys do when you find an article you like, right? Yeah, you print it out and keep it in a box in your room with all the other ones. <laughs> huh, isn't that fun? <laughs> That's going to be, that sounds weird, I know, to just print out everything you like and then keep it in a box, but when this world burns and Wikipedia is just my house, y'all be thankful. <laughs> Great crushing closer. I appreciate my own talents. I am very happy. Thank you so much for having me. Y'all are great. Enjoy the rest of the show.